V with Diane. Diane here. And thanks for coming to read with me. Let's see. Kwanzaa by Mike Tyler Nobleman. Today we will learn what is Kwanzaa? Who created Kwanzaa? Why was Kwanzaa created? What happens on Kwanzaa? What do the seven principles of Kwanzaa mean? What are the seven main symbols of Kwanzaa? What are other traditions of Kwanzaa? What is important at Kwanzaa? And what does Kwanzaa mean to people? What is Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa is a holiday that celebrates African culture. This holiday started in the United States. It honors African history, family, and traditions. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. It goes from December 26th to January 1st. Most schools, post offices, banks, government offices, and companies in the United States do not close for Kwanzaa. During this time, however, many people whose ancestors came from Africa think about their history and their future. Who created Kwanzaa? Dr. Mulana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966. He was born in 1941 in the United States. He is a teacher, writer, and activist. Dr. Karinga thought a holiday for black people would make them excited about their history. He believed they would enjoy learning about their past. He hoped they would keep sharing their history with younger people. Dr. Karinga started Customs for Kwanzaa. The customs were based on the harvest festivals from different African groups. The holiday of Kwanzaa was new, but its traditions were from long ago. Why was Kwanzaa created? Dr. Karinga wanted black people to think about their African ancestors. He wanted to bring families and communities together. Dr. Karinga wanted African Americans to learn good values from their past. He wanted people to learn about African ways of life. He thought Kwanzaa would help keep people of African descent strong. In the 1960s, black people worked hard to gain equality during the civil rights movement. Dr. Karinga thought about their courage when he made Kwanzaa. People march for the equal rights for everyone in the 1960s. What happens on Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa is a family and community holiday. Relatives and friends gather to celebrate. They meet at home and in community buildings. People tell stories and talk about the seven principles during each day of Kwanzaa. A principle is a rule that helps you know how to act in a good way. There is one principle for each day of Kwanzaa. The seven principles of Kwanzaa are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. People talk about these principles during Kwanzaa, but they try to live by them all year long. A Kwanzaa storyteller talks to his audience. What do the seven principles of Kwanzaa mean? Unity is the first principle. This means staying together as a family and as a community. The principle of self-determination means being who you want to be. 
Collective work and responsibility means people should work together and help one another. For cooperative economics, a family may work together to save money for something the whole family wants or needs. The principle of purpose means there is a reason for a person's actions. For creativity, people should use their talent and do their best. The last principle, faith, is believing in yourself and others. A man talks with his family about Kwanzaa. What are the seven main symbols of Kwanzaa? Symbols are objects that stand for something else. There are seven main symbols of Kwanzaa. Crops stand for the African harvest. Crops may be fruits, vegetables, or nuts. The straw mat represents African tradition. The candle holder is a symbol that stands for African ancestors. Corn stands for the children of the family. The seven candles represent the principles of Kwanzaa. The unity cup reminds people of the first principles of Kwanzaa, unity. The seventh symbol is gifts. The gifts show the love between parents and children. The seven symbols of Kwanzaa. What are other traditions of Kwanzaa? On each day of Kwanzaa, families light one candle in the candle holder. They talk about the day's principle. On the last day of Kwanzaa, they give gifts to one another. Some people display the flag of the African continent. The flag's colors are red, black, and green. The red reminds people of how they have struggled. The black represents the African people. The green represents the land and the future. On the last night of Kwanzaa, families join together for a feast. Many sing, dance, tell stories, or pray. Some people wear traditional African clothes. A family gathers to light a candle. What is important at Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa began in the United States, but it has helped bring together people in other countries too. Kwanzaa is a holiday that, may, that many celebrate no matter where they come from, where they live, or what their religion is. Tradition is important at Kwanzaa. People eat, talk, and enjoy Kwanzaa customs. Some of these customs have been part of African culture for hundreds of years. It's a happy celebration. During Kwanzaa, people give thanks for their blessings. They learn about their past. They use what they learn to make a good future for their families and their communities and themselves. A family celebrates by having a special meal. What does Kwanzaa mean to people? Millions of people celebrate Kwanzaa each year. During this time, People think about how they are living their lives. They think about their communities, too. The holiday happens at the end of the year. People decide what they can try to do better each year, next year. During Kwanzaa, many black people all around the world take pride in their history. Together, they have made it through tough times. Kwanzaa reminds them they are all connected. It reminds them there is always something to celebrate. Members of a dance group perform an African dance. Thank you for reading with me. Don't forget to subscribe, guys.